welcome back to Stylewise. Today I have an awesome haul for you. I went down to my favorite thrift store in South Florida. So I was down there for the weekend for my son's birthday and of course I have to stop. Let's just go through what I got. I found this um, little Michael Kors two-piece. And I thought even if I wear it once and resell it, it'll definitely be worth it for five bucks total. This I bought for myself because I'm still trying to find my sizing and I just don't have anything like this in my closet at all anymore. I don't really even wear skirts, but you know what? I'm gonna start trying. I do buy for myself and I also buy for resale or both of those things put together. So we, I'll talk about that a little bit in this video for three bucks and it looked, I actually, I can't even believe I did this. I tried stuff on this time. I spent the time to try stuff on and make sure it fit me before I bought it. And everything, well, okay, I take that back because I didn't try everything on. Like I didn't try these. That's because I bought them specifically for resale. And here's a little tip too because these, you know how they have the boutique section and then the regular price section? Well, if the tag is kind of not there, the thrift store people don't know what to price it at. But if you look a little bit closer, look for that tag, you'll figure out what brand it is and it might be worth more than $3. So I bought these, I didn't even bother to try them because it's just a pair of comfy pants. Maybe I wear them a couple times. I really liked this detail on the bottom of the leg there. Little Victoria's Secret. This I bought for resale. Even if you find stuff and it's not your size, I just can't, I think that's how this all started. I just can't leave it there because it's like, oh my gosh, this is a brand new Victoria's Secret with the tag and you know, they want a dollar for it. So I pay a dollar, I'm gonna put it on eBay and get, I don't even know what, but more than a dollar. So yeah, and then I got this little, just a little swim bottom. Like, why not, right? Cause that'll fit me, wear it once. And of course with the swim, I should have showed you with the other one. Make sure they're clean, make sure they're not, you know, yucky on the inside, obviously. This I also got for resale. I know we're going through sort of a 80s, 90s revival with resale. A lot of that stuff is selling. For $1.50, I thought I would try that. Again, for resale, I just got this little Victoria's Secret bra. Because they do sell quickly. That's what I like about Victoria's Secret. It sells immediately. It's not one of those brands that you have to wonder, like, oh my gosh, how long am I going to sit on this thing? Is it going to be in my closet forever? No, it's going to sell probably the first time you list it. These I got for myself. Well, Gap, um, jean leggings, skinnies. I just need jeans that fit me. This I was really shocked by. I know this color is very in right now. That's what caught my attention about it, like for resale purposes. But then I tried it on and it was really cute on. Yeah, I really like that. I like the color, especially. I think that's a great transition piece that can go right into fall with that heavier material, but still that soft um, mauve color. These I really like. And I do love that this is coming back as well, the wider leg. $4. I love that wider legs are coming back because it makes you look so lean and tall and especially with a great heel or something. This, again, I got for just for resale because this is not my style. But it is a nice, um, clean little swim top. Athleta for $2.50. I'm gonna grab it and um, throw it on eBay. I had been looking for a white t-shirt. I went to Target and I just couldn't find a white t-shirt that I like the fit of. 
especially when I don't know like once you go thrift you don't go back you don't want to pay retail anymore because it's like especially for something like a white shirt I'm like oh my gosh it's gonna get stained I'm gonna end up getting rid of it so quickly so I don't want to pay a lot of money so these first of all it was half off because long sleeves were half off always check the sale what is the sale of the day and try to focus on that section first I got this little Cynthia rally and I also have to find another one and that's the thing I don't have to feel so pressured about like oh is this the perfect one because I'm you know spending such and such amount of dollars on it I only spent two bucks so then I found another one which is a different fit a little bit looser you know relaxed kind of tee at this point I've spent a total of four dollars on my t-shirts whereas in Target I'm um, I don't even remember how much they cost but I didn't even like the fit of what was available so it was kind of frustrating so I was just like whatever I'll wait till I go thrifting and sure enough I found two of them this I got for myself it's Rockin' Republic and it has the whole like stressed holes going on nice and soft and again long sleeves were half off so it was two bucks just a nice little sports bra for a dollar I like it when I don't pay a lot for bras, especially when I don't try them on when I buy. You know how it is with bras. You wear it a couple times, you find out, oh my gosh, this isn't as comfortable as I thought, or the fit isn't like I thought, and it can just get given away or sold or something, you don't have to feel so bad about how much money you spent. Here's another tip. Look on the go back rack. You know the go back rack that's um, usually like right outside of the fitting rooms where people put the stuff that they don't want? They might have rejected it because it doesn't fit or whatever, but somebody picked that thing out. So it stood out to them for a reason. So I find that often there's like, I don't know, like not better stuff, but just something, you know, that has caught somebody else's attention might catch your attention. So just check the go back rack for things that you might like. And this is where I found this little, um, Row over, I don't even know what to call it, half off. So that guy was just two bucks. Awesome. Are, are you with me still? We're still going. I had two garbage bags worth of stuff. I'm not gonna go through the books or the um, home stuff that I got because it would just be way too long of a video. I have never heard of this brand. I saw these on the hanger and they looked so tiny. And they still do look tiny, but command control, I thought. Command control, okay, so that's probably like a waist thinner or something. And it is, they're very stretchy. There are two layers of fabric around the waist area. So it kind of cinches you in in the waist. So for three bucks, even if you don't know the brand, if you can feel the fabric and it feels like high quality and you try it on and you like it, go for it. Because these were a great find. Little Victoria's Secret. Black and beige, that's an easy resale, but also I actually kind of like it. So maybe I'll use it once and sell it. It is silk. Sometimes you'll get the Victoria's Secret and it's like, you don't know if it's worth more or not. See if it's polyester or if it's silk, because I'll find a bunch of these and they're just like that polyester, not very nice feeling stuff. Maybe you're starting to see why this is my absolute favorite thrift store. I mean, that's great. Keep on giving because I like, first of all, supporting the thrift stores or if they have a special cause or whatever, this happens to be a hospice. So that's great when you can support the cause and also recycle clothing. Clothing is not going to waste, it's going to a new home and I haven't purchased clothing a retail store that's brand new so I feel good about it all the way around it's just a basic but of course they caught my eye because it has the tag not like a big spender or anything but it was half off so it's only $1.50 for a nice comfy little sweater as fall is coming this is really cute I like this style for myself um, that army green color target brand or whatever but hey, that's cool with me. Oh, dude. I didn't even notice the tag was on that still. So yeah, somebody paid $11.50 for it, never wore it. It was two bucks and then it was half off, so it was a dollar. Yeah, I call that a win right there. Long sleeve, like I said, 
figure out what the sale is and, and go to that department. So you can just grab all your sale stuff first. Two bucks. So I got for a resale. That caught my attention, you know. Half off. So I paid $1.50 for that and you know that's going right to eBay, so. Oh, this one was nice. Um, I have never heard of this brand, but use your feelers. In those thrift stores, I was just, I do the whole like swipe with my hand and if I feel a nice feeling fabric like cashmere, I'm like, oh, let me look at that. So this was a great little lightweight, not that heavy, but it's still like a cashmere blend and it has that design on it. Tell me guys, two bucks, two bucks. And if you're not sure you want to spend the money, try it on. We'll either sell you or tell you to put it back on the rack because my thing is if I'm on the fence about something, I'm like, okay, if I don't love it, I'm not gonna wear it. Just put it back. I got this Athleta long cardigan. And sometimes if you don't know, like I picked it up for resale. Also like, oh, I, I would wear that once or twice, two bucks, you know. But while I'm in that fitting room, I just get on my phone real quick and like put on eBay search. All right, um, Athleta long sleeve cardigan black. Have they sold? Um, how much do they sell for? How much are they going for now? And it just gives me a quick like, okay, is $2 worth it to grab this thing? And if I wear it once, resell it. And it just tells me immediately like, yes, they're selling for whatever they're selling for, $20, $25. Yes, pick it up and get it. Then I don't have to worry if I wear it once or if I just resell it. Okay, my last piece. I did want to save these for last because I do consider them the best find of this whole bunch. Yes. Burberry, um, I don't know if it's a wool blend, but I can tell that there's wool in there for sure. A bit of wider leg wool slash angora pants. They feel really great. They're not itchy because they're also Oh, they're only halfway lined, but that's okay because I don't mind that at all. I would totally wear these myself. I tried them on, they look great, they fit. Or if I get done with them, I will just sell them. That's another thing, you have to check the condition. Check the condition while you're there. Did they get hemmed already? Because that will affect the price of resale. Did they, um, do they have a hole? Are they stained? But because something like that is a beautiful condition, I'm gonna go ahead and splurge that whole eight dollars on a pair of Burberry pants for sure 100 i think i did good you guys i don't know what you think but that is the end of this haul i also went um i took a risk and i went to the regular old goodwill down there as well so this is from a smaller thrift store and then i went to the big goodwill i spent a little bit more over there because i bought a bunch of toys to resell which i won't bore you with but I also got a whole bunch of clothes, so that will probably be in another video very soon. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching StyleWise. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Please share with your friends, and I'll see you next time on StyleWise. Bye!